can only cut the ones we have Hurry up, I don't have my harmonica. Okay, there we go. Um, so the past three months, we've done an experiment here with our meeting. And that experiment has to do with, first of all, figuring out what does it take to do a meeting like this? So with Susan Teton and Bill Greenleaf, our board members, collaborating on a manual, we put together a, how many page manual, Susan? 350. 350? <laughs> okay. Well, it was a big manual. I mean, we stopped. It was kind of sobering to see all that's done to put a meeting like this together. And so, one of the one of the things that uh, came about with that manual was to have a meeting coordinator. So, our very own Dr. Deborah Green took on that role the past three months, which she didn't realize in taking on that role was that she would have to deal with me. And um, she's very happy her tenure is ending. No, Deborah's been great. Uh, we really appreciate her organizational um, mind and her spirit and her love for what we do. And um, uh, so she has some, uh, uh, she's going to give us some comments tonight on how things are going. She's handing the baton off to our very own haiku, Helen. She's taking it on. Helen, thank you, dear. Next victim. And uh, so, Deborah, please come up and share your manal here. Give it up for Deborah, please. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I get some of that dessert, okay? So put a little thing over there for me. <laughs> Honestly, working with Vincent has been one of the pleasures, one of the many pleasures of uh, coordinating. It's been a really rewarding experience. And we still have some thank yous to say to the many volunteers who make this meeting happen. So give it up for the volunteers. Blue shirts, stand up, receive your applause. We're a shy, humble group of people. We are um, focusing on right now a need in the kitchen. Surprise, surprise, because that's such a nice big part of the meetings. And what we want and need is a kitchen supervisor, chairperson, manager, guru, whatever, a kitchen queen, whatever you want to call it. Uh, somebody to sort of you know, take on coordinating everything that happens in the kitchen. And uh, if you feel inclined to want to fulfill that luscious position, please don't hesitate to find me. I'm also going to send my clipboard around so you can just put your name on there. Um, in addition, Deborah, yes, for three months, right? yeah, for three months, only three months, three meetings is really what it means, you know. So it's not a, it's not a lifetime commitment, <laughs> and uh, it's fun. So and, and there's many many volunteers to support you in it. You know, you're not in the kitchen alone. That's for sure. Um, we also would like to start a list of people who are interested in bringing big food. You might notice that at the meetings, we have all of our dishes that are brought by all of you. And then to supplement and support that, we usually have at least one big dish. And that's to make sure that we have an abundant table to go around. And so we have about $100 in our budget for the big, big food. And if you love to cook, and if you think you could take that $100 and put together some amazing food, and that would be fun for you, then please sign up 
to be on that list and then we'll contact you and you can you know sign up for whichever meeting you want to provide that and we also as you know do an unravel <laughs> not unravel but unravel and we sell cookies when we do the unravel and so we also have a small budget of fifty dollars for ingredients for anyone who wants to make those cookies for our unravel at each meeting. So if you're interested and inspired to make some kind of you know, cookie-like um, item and supply that for our unravel, that would be really great. And I, I have a slot for that on my sign-up sheet. So Can you explain about the unravel? The way, it's pop quiz time. <laughs> the way the unravel works is somebody bakes the cookies and then brings them to the meeting and then we sell tickets that are not raffle tickets. <laughs> they are unravel tickets. And then we do the drawing at the end and you win wonderful, fabulous prizes that are donated by people who support this organization. Absolutely. And the cookies usually go for five dollars a piece, and um, and then you get your unravel ticket. All right. Anything about that or anything else? The meaning of life. What is love? All right. Um, yeah. So Vincent already shared that we have our next uh, volunteer coordinator coming up, and it's Helen, you know, Haiku Helen, and so she'll be here for the next three meetings to coordinate, and she'll be in touch with the volunteers in the meantime. And uh, I'm passing the baton, and I'm passing the microphone, and it's been really fun, and all I have to say is, volunteers rock. Yeah,